Jersey kind of manhandled it tonight. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, he's got a above average fastball, and um, well, no, you got a young umpire back there that has brings the high strike into play. I mean, it's tough to catch up to that when you're seeing 91, 95 for eight innings. We're just not geared up for that. Not many teams in this league are going to do much damage, but. Uh, you got to have some good fortune. Our, our bats got better the last uh, six through nine. Just um, unfortunately, weren't able to come through with any two out hits off him to produce any runs. A lot of it have to do with the fact that he did do a good job changing speeds, get it up to 95, and then throw that change at 80. His secondary stuff was average at best. I felt today, but it really didn't really matter much because his fastball was so good. And uh, just one of those days where. Unfortunately for our hitters at this time, there's enough guys that aren't really swinging it that well that you you could see them trying to cheat to gear up to that fastball, then you leave yourself open for some mediocre off-speed stuff. But he pitched a hell of a game. Um, your impressions of Jason Jarvis today? Uh, it's better. Just um, He's up in the strike zone. He's a contact pitcher. He's a sinker ball guy, and you got to pitch to the bottom of the zone. And if you're pitching to the top of it and you're a guy that induces a lot of contact, then a lot of it's not going to go your way, but he, he did better. I mean, biggest thing for Jason is we needed him to try to get deeper into the ball game, and we tried to get him through seven just to save the bullpen a little bit because the start and pitching's been it's so inconsistent that we're putting so many guys at risk down in a bullpen. But uh, I would say, uh, you know, it's not a great outing by Jason um, by any means, but it was it was better than it's been. Uh, you were able, under the circumstances, to get some rest for your big guys in the bullpen. Yeah, we got plenty of arms left for tomorrow. All the bullpen guys that threw today would be available. Plus, we needed to leave Kissick and Lafferty and Bellamy alone. So we'll have them available tomorrow. Hopefully, we can support them with some runs where they can get out there and pitch a little bit with a comfy lead. Casey says he'll be back. Do you expect him back tomorrow? Um, I don't think tomorrow. It's probably too soon for a growing pull. Two days is a little bit premature. Thanks, Rick. Yep. Ray, uh, you were a major leaguer. You faced a major leaguer tonight. What were your impressions of Joe Bassenius? Uh, he just kept the ball out, you know. Um, to me, it, it seemed like when he when he needed to make some pitches, he made some pitches. Uh, we chased a couple pitches out of the zone, you know. Uh, in some big situations he got out of, we didn't, you know, get a key hit. But uh, to me, I, he threw pretty good today. Uh, Rick was mentioning that he did get the high strike, and that changes everything. Yeah, uh, when he gets the high strike, you know, you – you try to battle, 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 but, um, you know, sometimes it goes away, sometimes it doesn't. Um, when you go up against a guy like that, what's your plan? Just to try to see the ball in the strike zone, uh, try not to chase up, which I did, but, uh, you know, he, like I said, he, he pitched a pretty good game, and, you know, we didn't come through today. Best thing about baseball, you do it all again tomorrow. Right. Um, uh, you see a different pitcher, different time. What do you expect? Expect to just go out and battle like we've been doing. Uh, continue to play hard-nosed baseball, and hopefully we'll have the win. And win the series. Right. Ray Sadler, thank you. You're welcome.